Good morning. So it is July 20th and it is officially Landon's three month birthday. But it is also the day that I have to go back to work. So this working mama wannabe super mom is, is I don't know if you could see his little hand, feeding baby before grandma and grandpa are coming to pick him up before I go to my first day of work. So I'm just going to be taking some little videos about just you know my thoughts how I'm feeling today I think it's gonna be a pretty rough day um, I'm really grateful for my job I don't want to seem like I'm ungrateful for having such a wonderful career but having your baby and falling in love and having a little man that you're really attached to now after three months uh, this is gonna be a really hard day so just gonna try to be really real and honest about everything that I feel and how this day goes and wish me luck. Good morning. I'm going to miss you today. I love you so much. Are you in a milk coma? I love you. I love you. So I'll change for work. Made sure I have my wonderful bag and breast pump and everything packed um, to bring all these supplies to the office. So I'm just trying to make sure I have all the basis covers. I already cried once this morning, so we'll see how many more times today I cry. The second baby that I'm leaving today. I'll miss you. I'll miss you too, babe. Don't you want me to just stay home with the baby? I mean, Maybe yeah, work. but no, you gotta do what you gotta do, but uh, I love you. Love you Bye. too. You look really hot today, by the way. <laughs> right. So one thing I forgot about that I did not miss whatsoever when I'm on maternity leave is the stop and go traffic. Um, yeah, not fun. And now mommy mind is calculating how much longer I'm going to need to give myself to leave before work to go pick up baby from Gigi's house. It is incredibly ironic that the song that my baby loves that I always play when we're in the car came on just as I'm about to turn into the office. Um, I won't cry, but I am. <laughs> I just miss him. I wish I could be two places at once. <laughs> about to go into the office. Here goes nothing. Wish me luck. I wanted to show you guys. I've been catching up with some of my coworkers. Great to see them again. But we definitely have a lot of email to catch up on. I have over 822 emails. And I don't know if you could see that, but that was, I probably done emails for the first six to seven weeks that I was on maternity leave. So that's just from the last half of my maternity leave because I was locked out of my email because I couldn't change my password that had expired because I wasn't on my works network. So a lot of emails to catch up. Pray for me guys. It's now 12.30 so if I'm counting down I've got about three and a half more hours till I'm going to be leaving to go back to little man because I'm going to work on an 8 to 4 schedule. Um, clear that with my boss just so I can leave and get to my grandparents to pick him up and home before traffic gets really bad because um, feeding him is, you know, big priority. Um, but I just got the sweetest surprise from my best friend Dina. Um, thank you so much. You literally like made my work day with, I don't know if you can see, the strawberries, woo, chocolate covered strawberries. One of my very favorite treats. And it was really nice of you because this day is super hard. So to get a sweet surprise, I appreciate it. Thanks. So many sweet things. Flowers from the husband, chocolate covered strawberries, the balloons. And of course I made sure that Landon is everywhere. Hey there, so I, Probably, I'm guessing, if you're a mama, you hear a pretty familiar sound. Uh, that's my pump going. It's the third time I've pumped today, and I guess it just goes to show I'm pretty stressed out because I feel like I'm pumping way less milk than I did when I pump at home or on other occasions when I've pumped a few times during the day. So a little concerned right now about that. Um, gonna look up some more tips of just what I can do. I've been drinking a ton of water though, so 
this is my last time I'm pumping before I leave at 4 to go pick up the baby. So hopefully I'll have a nice meal in the making for him over these next two hours while I leave to go pick him up and drive him home to feed him. But just a little worried about being able to then send the milk that I pump at work to my grandma to feed him during the day. This is so excited because I realized I have 40 minutes left till I get to go see baby. Yay! You know, to see my baby, and I am so excited. In the car, I am heading to Gigi's house, and I absolutely cannot wait to hold my baby. Um, I'm gonna film when I go into the house and see his face, and hopefully he recognizes mommy and hasn't forgotten about me. So, I will see you soon, little baby. So I just got to my grandma's house, and I'm opening the door. I don't know if you can tell by the smile on my face. Hi, Coley. I get to see my fur baby and my real baby. Coley, hi. Hi. Here's my baby. Hi. Say hi. Hi, baby. Look how pretty mommy looks. I missed you. Hi. <laughs> Is he smiling? No, he's got bubbles and he's not <laughs> smiling. You got bubbles? What a pretty you know, outfit. Oh, wow. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Because he's been waiting for you. Oh, my baby back. No, oh, I missed you. I missed you so baby, much. Are you go home? I'm going home. Yay. Going home. I got my baby. He's in the back seat. He was smiling when he got into his car seat. Ready to go home. So I'm so happy I'm going to cuddle with him all night. Right, Landon? We'll cuddle all night long. Love you, babies. Doggy. I'm crying at the back. Hey, really Little yeah. girl's excited to come home, too, huh? Love you, Cole. Really happy, Dad. He doesn't like Mommy working. Huh? <laughs> Say, like, your brother when Mommy's He's, like, almost smiling. He's, like, almost smiling, and then he cries. He's, like, crying. He's, like, Happy going on. Hi, buddy. Yeah. Did you miss Dada? You miss Dada? He's like, I don't know. Um, that was nice that they decorated my office and stuff. I thought that was nice. Yeah. Say, Daddy sent Mommy flowers. So did you. I got flowers for my boys today. They're very pretty. Yep. And Auntie Dina sent strawberries. Huh. So it was nice. People thought of me. But I still missed you. Yeah, I'd rather be home with you, huh? Yeah, huh. Dina checked with me. That's probably why she sent those instead of flowers. Because really? I told, she asked for the address because she was going to send you something. And I said, yeah, I'm actually sending something too. And she's like, oh, what are you sending so we don't send the same thing? How thoughtful is everyone? How thoughtful. Huh. We got some drool action going on, Mom. I know, you've been very bubbly. I think your There's teeth are There's a thing down in. here somewhere. I'll get it. I'm a sleepy boy. They're cranky. Oh, I'm sorry. We are going downstairs to play because I know one of the things that my grandma just was saying is we got him some play mats, but she was sort of like, what do you do with a three-month-old? I don't really know what to do with them. So we're going to play with some of our fun mats and things before we get ready for bed. Yeah, we're going to play before bed. Starving. So we're going to have some cashews, huh? Yum, yum. Yeah. Say poof, there it is. Poof, there it is. A poopy, poopy, poopy now. Ready for your bath? <gasps> you excited for bath time? You little energetic stinker. You stinky butt. <gasps> you stinky butt. I love you. Yeah. Oh, you're going to wash yourself? Be a Mr. Independent, grabbing your cup? <gasps> Mr. Independent, wonder where you get that from. Man, you can dry it off. <gasps> yeah, I'll dry it off. <laughs> yeah. It's so bad because I feel like he's just either sensing that I'm so tired and stressed and 
he's just kind of like being really fussy, but bath time is normally one of like his all time favorite times of the day. And he just totally freaked out almost the entire bath time. And normally he's like so happy and calm and relaxed. All I've literally had since lunch at work which was only like some fruit and a power bar is um, the handful of cashews when I walked in. So my husband's holding him a second just so I can throw some chicken in the oven. But literally like I'm just looking at the clock, it's already almost seven o'clock and normally we try to put him down around seven after his bath and he's just not having it right now. So I'm just like, oh my gosh, how are we gonna do this every day after work? Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna probably need uh, lots of glasses of these. <laughs> but due to breastfeeding, I can only have one. Crap. Well, the two chicken broths are cooking. Snacking on some snack peas in the oven. Add chicken breasts while my husband holds the baby. Big boy with that. You guys are just watching TV, hanging out. Yeah, I'm watching ESPN. Good, good boy. Watching ESPN. Oh no, are you going to love sports too? Be a fanatic. Dumb. I'm a big boy like that. So it is the end of what has been a super long first day back at work. Um, it's so nice to be home with the baby and my husband, but I definitely am exhausted. It's 9:30. Baby is sleeping with hubby on the couch as we were watching some TV. We've recently become obsessed with parenthood. Um, maybe it's because we're in parenthood now. Um, but I think the biggest thing I've just realized is how much I need to plan ahead. Everything from literally I've laid out my outfit for work in the morning so I can just quickly throw it on. Um, making sure there's enough milk, making sure my office bag is packed, making sure Lynn's bag is packed. Just so much planning needs to go into every single day and I was a pretty good planner before but it's even more important now when I feel like you know especially the milk thing he needs to be fed so it's somebody's life that's literally like in my hands based on my planning um so that's just a huge thing sad day really tough um I'm feeling okay about tomorrow though just because I guess there's sort of a light at the end of the tunnel, but not a very good one because Adam's surgery is Wednesday for his Achilles tendon. So really I'm working Monday, Tuesday, then going to be doing some work from home. I think my grandma still might watch the baby a little bit while I'm trying to take care of Adam. Um, so yeah, being a working mom, I'm tired. <laughs> it's only the first day of the week, so I can only imagine how five consecutive days is going to feel. Uh, but yeah, I hope now, this first video, I know already it's going to be a little funky because I used my iPhone. Um, but I think, you know, the coolest thing I found when I was pregnant was following other moms' journeys just through pregnancy and during their first couple of months. And with Landon, it was really hard to even just blog and type because he always wanted to be held. So now that I am back at work, I just expect to have a little bit more time to be either updating videos or updating the blog and giving a little bit of insight on what it's like to be a full-time working mom and full-time mom at home um because that's basically what the scenario is when you work and have your baby um so beyond anything just so grateful um for my grandparents for watching him and loving him it actually I think has just made this going back to work transition a thousand times better and then just knowing that between my husband and I even though Adam's pretty much out of commission now for a year while his Achilles tendon recovers in a lot of ways just knowing that he's so supportive of me and my career I really don't know what I would do if I didn't have a husband that was this supportive um so that was my rant um not going to lie mommy did have her one glass of wine to unwind at the end of a pretty long day um so yeah please let me know working moms out there or not working moms even if you just have tips or advice on how to be a really great mom please let me know um as a first time mommy, I am always questioning what I'm doing. Is this the right thing? Is this not? So let me know and thanks for watching. Again, sorry for the weird quality and for the no makeup real mom look right now. Good night.